We going live. We going live. Let me pin this comment right here. Let me pin this comment like so. Like, now post now. Now pin now. If you're watching this on the YouTube from the future, I'm sorry. It always takes us a minute to get dressed. Greetings. Salutations. Hola. Bienvenidos. How is everyone doing? Hey, I am Felix MC. Hey, Rico Davis. I'm just going to shout out the people that say hey first. Hey, Livy Live 95. Hey, La Pinche. I'm sorry if I mispronounce. Yeah, charge it to my head, not my heart. Hey, hey, everybody. Hello, Mickey P underscore Parker. Hey y'all, y'all know what time it is. Hey Breezy999, hey Dr. D. Mariah, hey Kiss My underscore S. Friends, hey Ken Kento93, hey Deja Wash. We're about to have some fun tonight. Look into my eyes right now. Look into my eyes right now. <laughs> Stains in your eyes. The color of the wonderful stop me and steal my breath. Hey, the emerald, every 90s singer, the emerald from mountains, the rust from the sky, never revealing that there is. What'd you say? So tell me we belong together. I can't open it like that because it's all in, in cavities that have been filled. Let me back up a little bit. Welcome to Ask Amber. Hey, motherfuckers and non-motherfuckers, niggas and non-niggas. You are in for a very special treat tonight. An evening with me and Cheetah Print. Rare sighting of me and Cheetah Print. Hello, friends. So tonight, we are going to talk a little bit about horrible dates that you've been on. Maybe the location that the guy picked or the girl or the non-binary person, maybe on site was horrible. Maybe just their energy was horrible. I once went to the movie theaters with this gentleman that I was dating. We went to see Coraline. So I thought it was gonna be an incredible film. And mid theater, he was like, okay, so this is great. You gonna suck my dick? It's like, We're, this is a kid's movie. I can't suck your dick during a kid's movie. Did I do it? We'll never know, right? We'll never know. Um, so yeah, maybe don't suck dick during Coraline. We're gonna start the top of the show with a quick little uh, quote, a quotable. This quote is pretty recent. It might be like a little bit of a spoiler, but it just tickled me so. So I wanna try to quote this person and see if anybody who's been watching TV lately can pick up this quote. Here we go. So this person, we always start the show like this, just so you know. So one person says like, Yo, how you and your people been? Person answers. Oh, everyone that I associate with is thriving in abundance, limitless. That's your quote. I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh, how your people been? Oh, everyone that I associate with is thriving in abundance, limitless. That was the response. Yay! Super recent. It was Kelly on this week's episode of Insecure. I won't spoil any more than that, but I just love that quote so much and I hope somewhere in this world someone is going up to one of my exes and asking like you know how's Amber doing I know y'all broke up many many moons ago how do you think she's doing and I want my friend at that party to say like oh everyone that I associate with is thriving in abundance limitless thriving in abundance and in, in limitless yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, the, you get the spiel. All right, let's kick it back. If you're just joining us tonight, we're talking about horrible first dates or just like any tea you want to talk about. I see some people in the chat. So let's go live and live in color. Girl, now let's make sure y'all got these lights on. Hello. Are you coming in, friend? Income. Hello. Hi. How are you, friend? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, you're doing well. Come on, grandma. What is your name, beloved? My name is Kadima, or I go by Dima. Dima! Well, what's going on, Dima? Talk to me, girl. Oh, my gosh. I've had a lot of bad dates. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I'll give you the worst one. So um, this was actually a second date. Um, and I had met this guy. This was this year. Um, and I... <laughs> <laughs> I had met this guy, and so he was like, oh, I'll cook dinner for you, and um, we had had a really good first date, and it was good, and um, 
So he was like, I'll have um, dinner ready. And I was running late from work, but I was like, hey, I'm running a little late, so I'll be over there shortly. Running late, but but he volunteered to make dinner. Exactly. And this was a second date. Yes. So you had already cleared him. He cleared. Yeah. Yeah, because we had met in public the first time. We had a really good time. We went to, like, um, the Rose Garden. I live in Oregon, so went mm. to had a nice time. He showed promise. Yes. And then what happened? So, get to his place. And um, so he has dinner ready. Um, but it was like, you have, okay. So we're having dinner. <laughs> so the dinner. So the dinner was fine. The food was fine. It was fine. It, it wasn't anything special, anything crazy. Ooh, but it, I, I'm just, because you know, I'm not a, an expert in the kitchen either. So I was going to yeah. go, ee, I was going to yeah. go easy on. It was, yeah, and it was fine. It wasn't bad. It was just fine. So right. we're sitting at dinner and he's looking at me, like just asking me this question, like, you know, how's it going? How's your day been? And I'm like, fine, good. It starts fine. And as I'm eating, he's just staring. Like, huh. just looking at me and I'm eating and I was like oh are you gonna eat your food he was like no I just want to admire you and I was like mm. oh, oh sir do I have a booger hanging from my nostril <laughs> why are you just looking at me and not eating the food that you made right oh please tell me this man didn't poison the food keep going <laughs> I don't think so but so we're eating and he's just like ooh, he's just he's just looking and I'm a slow eater. And so basically, he's just staring at me. And so at one point, I'm like, you know, trying to make some conversation. He's like, well, and like, he's doing a really awful job of making conversation. And so at one point, he literally just stops. He puts his hands down and he's like, um, can we have sex right now? Uh, mid, the mid crunch. <laughs> I'm literally eating dinner. And he, what was it? Do you remember what the dinner was? It was like pasta. It was like he had made pasta. So you just slurping your noodles and he looking like, oh, I got a plan for that mouth. <laughs> oh, what a Neanderthal. So he's literally like, he was like, so um, can we have, he, he was like, I'm, I'm ready. And like, he literally leans over the table and is like about to kiss me. And I'm like, wait, sir, like. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> And so literally, it was so awkward because he, like, it's a small kitchen. It wasn't a lot of space. So, like, basically the way it was, like, where his dining room was, I was kind of, like, up against the wall, and he was close to, like, to the outside. So basically, I'm, like, cornered. And so ah! literally, yes, I'm cornered. Yes. <laughs> In his apartment. Yes. Oh, no. Exactly. And so he, like, corners me and, like, shoves his lips on my mouth. I was like. Sir, no, get off of me. Get off. It was bad. It was so bad. And Alfredo sauce everywhere, I'm sure. <laughs> it was so bad. Like, literally, and this is what's weird, is that, like, the initial, like, hangout was good. And so that's why it was so odd to me that, like. Does he have, like, a, a eating kink or something? Why would he do that to you? I do not know. Like, it was so weird because. And this is what's weird is that usually, you know, when you're having dinner, you make conversation, you know, you're like, he was not making conversation. He was just staring. Oh he was, my gosh. Also awkward because he wasn't talking. He and so, was, well, what did you do? Like once he leaned in on some <laughs> sexual assault lady in the tramp version. Right. And so I was like, um, um, and like, I'm the type of person I hate like conflict, but I was like, I, I really have to go. I, I like got my purse and stuff. And I was like, I really have to go. And so I got out of there. But he was like, well, you just, you, you don't want to stay a little longer. And I was just Bitch, like, what? No. And then, you? and then the, the worst thing about it is that like in his apartment, this is also what creeps me out. He had lived in, and mind you, he's a lawyer. A Not lawyer. passing the bar living like this. Yes, he's a lawyer, and he and this is why I kind of assume, oh, you know, it'll be fine. No, don't trust anyone. Doesn't matter what they do. You know, Ted Bundy was fine as hell. <laughs> and that's the crazy thing is like when I looked in his bedroom because his bedroom it was a one bedroom apartment. He lived alone, but in his room he literally only had the bed, and like you know how they have those sterilite bins, like the ten dollar ones. He literally only had his bed in the corner and the stair light bins, nothing else. 
Nothing else. Oh, he a killer. That wasn't even his house. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it's like. Run. Did you run? It, yeah, I got out and it was it was scary and gross. So And did you block him? You never never to be heard oh, from again. Yeah, we, ne we never spoke again. It was one of those things that I was like, "Oh, I am never talking to you again in my life." Like I literally thought I was going to die. Like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, that was it. And it was so crazy because everything was normal before then. Like, we had great conversation. Like, he I'm was glad he showed his ass on day two. Day right. two. Well, that's what's so weird is I'm like, how do you go from being courteous, opening doors, and like, just like, because he even walked me, because I live in Portland, and he walked me to my car to make sure I got there okay, and walked back to his place, like, the first time we met. No. So, I'm just like. Run. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, fuck that guy. I'm so right. glad you got out of there safely. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and so if you're watching, motherfucker, <laughs> if I see you in the streets, <laughs> nigga, I'm coming after your ass. I, I don't care what race he is. I, I, that, that's, I'm using that for everybody, but thank you for calling in to share. And I'm so glad that you are here and not chopped up into tiny pieces under this man's bed. Because that could have happened. I agree. Woo! All right. Well, I'm I'm in for some more tonight. I should have named tonight's show Tell Him. Right. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. And if he's out there, and if you're somebody who's ever tried this with someone, bitch, we don't like you either. No. Ah, oh, thank you so much for sharing. We're gonna take some more calls. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Never eat pasta again. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, bye, friend. Oh shit! God, actually, I think I have better. Well, goddamn, if you're just joining us, we got told our first horrible story of the night where somebody tried to attack my good sis as he, she was eating pasta that he probably spiked. That's part two of the story. Ah, oh, horrible first dates. We got to stay safe out here, y'all. You know, y'all got to use that find your friends location thing, okay? All right, keep calling in, y'all, because I'm, I'm sure we got some more horror stories. Lord, have mercy. There's somebody coming in. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you see? Hello. Ah! Ah! When I tell you I've been trying to get on this live for so long. Oh, really? What's your name, friend? Uh, my name is Mickey. Mickey. Good to see you, Mickey. Hello. Oh, my God. Your locks blue. Oh, uh, yes, they are. They're a little oh, bit yeah. new growth, so ignore all that. So. No, no, I love it. Mickey, it's so great to see you. Thank you. And congratulations on the baby, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mickey. Talk to me, friend. Give me that. Baby. Those ratchet dates or dangerous baby. dates. Baby. Okay, so I don't really call this a date. I don't call it more of like a little hookup. So <clears throat> we like to hook up too. Yes, yes. Let me start from the very beginning. So um, one of my first little, you know, sneaky links just left the house. Like, yeah. So my roommate and his friend wanted to come over to the house and, you know, you know, do a little bit. I was like, okay, that's fine. Sure. Whatever. Just hurry up and be here. They get here and stuff. I know him. I know the friend. We go over there to his job, say hi, do all that different type of stuff. So, you know? Excuse me. To recap, your sneaky link left the house. Yes. Your roommate and your roommate's friend come back to the house. Yes. And you know the roommate's friend, so he's he's cool or she's cool, whoever. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. So cool. they get here. We're in my room because, you know, I have the projector and music stuff. You know, the, the good old, the good old good. It's a vibe. So, right, it's a vibe. So um, he, my friend, or both of our friends, tells him, hey, I got to tell you something. Come in the bathroom. So they go in my bathroom to talk for a second. I'm sitting the, here confused. The roommate like, and friends in your bathroom. Yeah. Talking. Okay. Talking. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, what y'all talking about? And but like, like, you know, <laughs> secrets don't keep friends. But you know, it's whatever. Um, so they come back out and I asked my roommate, can you go make me some tea, please? So he does, he goes and does that. I haven't he doesn't come back for a good little while. So me and like my friend or our friend just sitting there talking about random stuff. He kept asking about like my type and stuff. And I was like, Okay, I'll tell you my type, this is this. Wait, so your roommate alone goes to the bathroom? No, both of them went to the bathroom, but then my roommate went to go get some tea. 
Okay. And so yes. the friend comes out to talk to you. Yes. Got it, got it, got it. And so... And um, the friend is asking you what's your type. Yeah, it's asking me what's my type, telling me how I am and stuff like that, telling me stories about, um, you know, encounters he had with different friends. I'll tell my encounters. You know, the good all good all same all same all. So um, he was like, I like the room. It's nice. I said, thank you. Thank you. He said, the red lights are kind of cool, too. I said, yeah, but it's like a little I see red moment, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, not the silhouette challenge. <laughs> right. And so um, we just talk about, like, he's asking me, like, so are you in a relationship? Are you in this or whatever? And I'm just doing like, I mean, much. like, yeah, doing too much. I'm just like, I mean, I'm talking to somebody. So, yeah. Just I just bit. left. Yeah. So he was like, would you be open to like, talk, like whatever? I'm just like, right now I'm an open book. I talk to who I talk to, mess with who I mess with right now. And I'm like, it's what it is, what it is. right? But he was specifically asking like, would you be open to talking to me potentially? Probably, yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, sitting there. And then he said, so what about, so what's we trying to do? I said, huh? Like tonight, right now. When my yeah, family just left. Right. I'm just like, what, what, what? I just, I also told him that. I said, what you talking about? And he said, like, I've been trying to get with you for the past two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks? Not a fortnight. Wait, yes, a so whole your, fortnight. So your, roommate, so your roommate went to make tea and your roommate talked to them in the bathroom and your roommate left them in the room with you and brought them over after your sneaky leak came. Okay, so your roommate was setting you up on a date. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we're going to confirm that, friends. But but you were maybe okay with that. Baby, at first, I really wasn't. So, like, well, like let me continue. So, I was like, uh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, why are you, what makes you think about this stuff? And so, this is what made it very uncomfortable, is when he said that I kind of have, like, you know, this little secret fetish for big girls. I said, okay because like don't get me wrong don't get me wrong amber like i i know i'm fine i know i am i know yes. my little chunk you got a little this but i know i got a dump truck in the back so it's fine oh but you it's don't have like to, you don't have to explain nothing that's just right. weird to say if you want to hook up with somebody it's like you know i got a fetish for black girls it's like you was doing great pause we don't it's, we just yeah just stop. It was just like, stop. yeah Right. And so I was like, I sat there, it's like, oh, um, <clears throat> oh, really? Really? So he was like, yeah. And then he said, especially with a girl with a smile like that. Now, Amber, I'm going to let you know this now. When a man compliments my smile, it's like, ah! Like, you, That's uh, bad. That, no, like, he's, he saved it. He saved it, but it was still, like, he probably saw on your face, like, uh, like, you just hit the fucking iceberg, bruh, but you saved it. So we'll, right. we'll see. Right. So I was like, I was just laughing, nervous laughing. And he said, so do you want I bet you're like <laughs> Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yes. right. And so he was like, do you want to like, like, do you want to like, let me know, let me know. I was like, Amber, I gave in. I just gave in. Oh, I said, sure. Why not? I'm let like, me know. And your roommate, <laughs> your roommate was in there making the longest pot of tea ever. He really was. And so he, he did whatever we did. Uh, Amber, it wasn't even that good. He don't have no rhythm. I was just like... Oh. Oh. <laughs> now he's so, gonna do all of that. All wanted, that talking. Wanted his big girl with a beautiful smile fetish and then couldn't deliver. Right, couldn't deliver worth of nothing. Right. And just making jokes during it, dude, the time, whole time too. And it's just bad jokes. And I'm just like... Let what this, were some of the he, jokes he was making? He was, I don't know, something about stuff about my titties, my hair, and just like, baby, just stop, just stop. Not I, titty just, jokes. Yes, yes like where you're, where you're the butt of the joke. It was either I was the butt of the joke, or he was the butt of his dog. His dick was the butt of the joke. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want an HBO special, nigga? Look at what you came into the bedroom with. No, no, no. Right, right, right. Damn. And I was just like, oh, uh, uh. So he finished or whatever. He said, "Come and get my shoes. Say bye to and, my friend." And you know what? Pause, pause. Let me put it in reverse. Back it up, Terry. <laughs> so he finished, and you didn't get to finish. Hell no. Damn. No orgasm for orgasm. So right, it's just horrible. But it's okay. And then he it up. Beforehand, he handled that. So <laughs> damn. It's like, well, what if it's like, okay, you got a big girl fetish. What if I have a I need to come every time we have sex fetish? Hear me right. out. Right. And you just didn't fulfill that. I fulfilled yours, but where's mine? You know. Damn. What did your roommate say? So I talked to him like after he left. I said, "Come here." He said, "Well, I said you knew about this shit, didn't you?" 
And he was like, I mean, he asked me, but I told him like that's a you question, not me. I said, yeah, yeah but you, but you pinned me in the walk, like you. And to be fair, you you did you know consent to having sex with him and whatever. But it's like, yeah, give me the player code of being like, yo, my friend been trying to talk to you for two weeks. Are you right. cool with me bringing them through? Let me send you a pic of them. Let me talk to you about what like your roommate's supposed to do all of that first before you get pushed into a corner with your red lights. Right, because, like, he told me that they've been talking about it for the past two weeks. I said, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you say to your roommate after? I told my roommate, the next time one of your friends wants to do the do or wants to talk to you on the sidelines or been talking to you about it for two weeks, can you let a girl know? Right. Damn. Well, if, you, like, if you're out there listening, sir, you got to come with better jokes and better stroke. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very jokes much. and strokes i will i would i will pay a cover and do a two drink minimum for that party but but nothing less than that yes nothing less oh well i thank you for coming on to the show and sharing that horror story with me and tell your roommates to find you a better dick yes definitely thank you so much this is like amazing oh i love it thank you for calling in thank bye, you baby. bye Listen up, yous. If you're just joining, we're talking about horrible sex and horrible first dates and maybe dangerous first dates as well. Let me tell y'all something, especially you pussies out there. And when I say pussies, vaginas, okay? I know that it's a little bit more challenging for us to have orgasms and, and it's just, they, they walk into an orgasm, they, they walk in the kitchen, orgasm. But there's no excuse in 2021 for both parties not to finish. Let me say that again. Both parties should be orgasming. Both parties should be finishing. We're not in high school anymore. There's too many resources, too many toys, too many strategies, too many uh, sex and magic whips and chains. There's too much out here for pussies not to get their swerve on. Now, let's go to the next caller. Oh, I got somebody in the chat. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. No, we don't do no, we do orgasm for orgasm. That's gonna be Amber, hello! I know you are fucking lying. I'm up here. Where you at? I'm in DC. You, uh, well, you ain't up. You down for me. Well, I mean, I'm down at the, at the bottom of, on the screen too, but on the live. <laughs> on the live. You oh, up shit. here on the live. What's your name, friend? My name is Mook. Mook. Oh, I love Mook. your piercings, Mook. Thank you. I Talk have a to me, story. Mook. You look like you got a story on your chest, Mook. I do. I do. I had a horrible first date. Oh, Lord. Um, it's kind of my fault, though. But you said well, horrible. Well, I, I, I'll let you know if it's your fault. What, what happened? Okay, so um, this guy had followed me on Instagram, right? And he was in town on the 4th of July. Okay. So I invited him to my... Um, my building has a rooftop party or whatever for the 4th okay, of July. Okay, so a public space. Yes. Um, he came by. He slid through with his friend or whatever. Um, we kind of interacted. But then um, I let him go about his business and went out and had fun. But the next day, he was like, we should go out. We should hang out. Let me pause real quick. How long was he following you on Instagram? How long were y'all talking before you invited him up? He probably was following me for like two years. Um, oh. We had chatted periodically i would say okay yeah yeah that's that's i, I thought you were about to say two days two weeks two years oh no yeah, yeah. you good you, st you still ain't in the wrong yet okay keep going okay so um and girl he was so fine like edris elba he better have fine. been with you looking like, like six, this four. he better have been with you looking like this thank you thank you so we go to this bar in the city it's called nelly's it's this gay bar or whatever okay get drunk a little bit and we're coming down the steps, and um, there happens to be this white man that's getting dragged down the steps right behind us. Dragged? Dragged down the steps. They was kicking him out the bar. Oh, so he was not in drag. He was literally being dragged. A He's white man. being dragged. Damn. <laughs> he should have been talking shit. Damn. So then he turns around and he calls the bouncer the N-word. See? And this why I your ass turned around drugged. and I popped the white man over the bouncer. 
And then now Mook, he was already getting drugged. Why well, he was talking? outside calling people the N word. I just had to swing. Yeah, you were like, to... it, it wasn't even me. It was, it was within me. It was just me. due diligence. You know what I'm saying? You have to do your part. In you had to get you a lick in too. If you Damn. say it, now I gotta hit you. So got you. I got I you. I literally swung over the bouncer. The white man hit the wall. He scraped his head, and then I turned to the guy and I'm like, "Run!" <laughs> so we run away from the bar. We go to another bar. As we're walking back, because the line was a little long, so we decided not to go there anymore. It's an ambulance also, you outside. The bouncer was probably like, uh, Clay, you can't come in here. You you, you swinging at the door. I mean, um, <laughs> they so you, but, but at this point, we've hit the racist white man, and you're still with the guy that you invited. Exactly. And his friend. Yes. Okay, well, so now he doesn't have Nelly's... any friends. It's just me and him. Oh, it's just you two now. Yeah, so it was the following day. Oh, um, following day. Okay, so it's just you and him, and y'all decide to go to, to another bar. Yeah, so we go to another bar, but the line is extremely long outside of that bar. So we kind of have to walk right past the scene of where I just hit the guy. There's an ambulance out there for him. An uh, ambulance, but yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's one of them out there. I'm super embarrassed. Then... Yeah, the ain't guy, nothing like um, getting kicked out of a spot and then have to walk back past the spot. I've been there. Yeah. So then he's like, oh, my God, you like this shit. You're crazy. Blah, 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 blah. So we ended up going to get something to eat, and we was we came back to my place to uh, eat. But, like, after all of that, he was talking about how I was aggressive, blah, 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 you know. Oh. But then he tried to to fuck on me and it was like so he so he liked the aggression I don't know if he liked it or not but I think he felt like I was crazy and then he said something about he was here for a good time not a long time and <laughs> okay Drake okay Aubrey but it wasn't it, it, he couldn't have a good time or a long time mm -hmm. because when I felt it it was <laughs> Uh, what you call it? Shiitake. <laughs> like a little Damn. A baby Bella. Not a... <laughs> yeah, so... Is that what the streets are calling them now? Oh, baby Bella. No. Yeah. Um, needless to say... So you're like, so you worried about me swinging and you ain't swinging at all. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's let's back up a little bit. Because I, I want to be fair. I want, you know, there there are all types of penises out there. You prefer a nice, supple, girthy penis. Well, I just don't want my face to be, I don't want to have to smush my face into your pelvic bone, if that makes any sense. Gotcha. Or, you know. It makes a lot of sense. That's a great answer. Doesn't do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. So he was, but. And let me try to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. So it wasn't after because it was a night of drinking and nothing like that. It was just small. I don't think it was going to grow any. Damn. It was given at full capacity. <laughs> and the full capacity was giving that, that, that door off the Titanic. That's only room for one, and it's probably oh, him. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Luke. Did he know, Did he feel your disappointment, too? I'm sure he did. I told him, I was like, absolutely not. He did spend a night. You he let him spend a night? I did let him spend a night, but it was, he never called me back. Not that I, he was fine as hell. Girl, I kind of wanted him to call me back. Maybe we could have worked out another situation, but. <laughs> what what would have been the situation that would have, that could have been worked out? Girl, you know, it's a little it's trading <laughs> places. <laughs> Um, right, we we could have worked it out. We we could work around this situation. Out. Well, Mook, yeah. did you did you embarrass him? Did you make jokes about it, or did you like make no, a face no, and be I didn't like, make any jokes I mean, about it. it. I kind of just was like over it. I was like, oh, we can kiss, you know. Oh, so you didn't even give him no like lazy ass head. You were just like, oh no. I didn't even even gesture at putting my face down there. I touched it and I was like, oh, that's enough touching that. 
You know what? That happened to me one time. Uh, don't judge me. One time I decided in my brain it made sense to hook up with my cable guy. You know. I mean, At the time, he was he was doing his thing, so he was splicing cable. Is cable. Expensive. He was splicing cable out the neighbor, and I was like, "You doing your thing? I'm gonna get a discount. We about to be in this, you know." Back 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 in my my Disney, and I was like, "Damn, you you kind of fine." And we started hooking up, and I put my hand down there, and it was given Vienna sausages, roll of pennies, nice. and I was like, "Oh." Well, that's different. I was like, but I was, I too was like, but you're a handyman. Maybe we can work around these things. But no, it, it didn't transpire after that. Great cable, though. I did have free cable a while. 10 but out damn. of 10 will recommend the cable services. So, Luke, has he since unfollowed you? Like, what has been the fallout since? Um, He has not unfollowed me. I actually unfollowed him. Because so I'm he could petty... be watching right now. I'm a petty bitch, yeah. <laughs> Why you unfollow him if you were still feeling him? Um, because you should have called me back. The fuck? Now you gotta be oh, the from the universe. Okay. So you called him and he hasn't he didn't return the call. No, he didn't. Oh think, well, what's you know, his name? I... If you're out there watching, you know well, you know who this is. If you're watching Mook's IG Live. Slide through him his DMs again. Um, I hear there are great cosmetic procedures. Maybe something can be worked out. Maybe <laughs> things can be, you know, flip it and reverse it. We can work something out. Call Mook back. It's okay. I'll be fine. I'm going to live. <laughs> yeah, you got some options. I feel like some people were trying to uh, shoot their shot in the comments a minute ago. So, uh, My DMs Luke, are, you are open. <laughs> If so you're if you're single in the DC area, Mook's DMs are open, and make sure you uh, type your at in the chat one more time. Okay. All, All right, right, I love you, Boo. Thank you for calling in. Yeah. You gonna find you gonna find a big one too. I just know it. Oh my gosh, y'all! Damn, it's it's hard out here. You know, size, motion of the ocean. But yeah, get get you. Get you something you can ride on. Get you something you can work with that works for you. All right, let's keep moving on. If you're just joining us, uh, that's Mook. That is a uh, Slayer Salute. If you're trying to shoot your shot with Mook, slide it to his DMs. He is single, okay? And if you got a small penis, just don't even think about it. Let's move on to the next caller as we continue at our, our night of horrible, horrible, the great and horrible uh, first date, second dates, bad sex. I'm loving it. I'm loving y'all tonight. Hello. Hi. How are I was you? Not that. <laughs> What'd you say? Um, I was not expecting it to be oh, accepted. We're in, we in here. Oh, what plant do you have behind you, friend? Oh, um, I have lots of plants. I have uh, Cebu, uh, Monstera, some more Pothos. Oh, I love it. it. Yes, a plethora of plants. Oh, we love we love a plant now, friend. What is your name? Um, my name is Aurora. Hey, Aurora. Oh my God, your hair is so beautiful. Thank you. You'll have to forgive me. I'm just getting off from the day job. No, oh no. We we listen. If if you find me in makeup, it's because I really had something to do that day. We we don't do any of that. Okay, Aurora. <laughs> Same. Feel it. So there can be that bad dates that are okay because I've been happily married. And with my husband for like 14 years. Oh, yay! But y'all had a bad day. We have before, but this is not the story. Okay. The story is the bad day that did not go well and did not work out. So back in the day, when I was trying to figure things out, there was this young man. And, you know, it was before social media, so he was on the bus. We was riding the bus together. And he was cute. He was feeling me. He was, you know. He was nice. He was complimenting, but there was just no sparks. Okay, that's like, right. uh, So he was shooting the shot, but you were like, you're not being too aggressive, but I'm just not interested. Yes, like, and it was like little things like, you know, we went out to eat and it was like Chinese buffet deal, which I'm not against, you know, save a buck. But um, like, he was a dude that ate pizza off the Chinese buffet. Oh, no. no. So Wait, so... So y'all did meet on the bus, y'all exchanged information, and you did go on a first date with this person. 
Yes, we went on a few dates. And At the Chinese buffet. So, okay, so yeah. you went on a few dates. Yeah. That, you know, I, I know yeah. my way around a Chinese buffet, but you do not go for the pizza and wings. Yes, that's correct. Yes, and it was a progression. Like, you know, there was a movie day, and that was okay, just because there was not much talking. You know, there was the movie there. So, and then the Chinese buffet, and it was just like, you know, this just isn't going to work out. But then the whole thing that was crazy is like, I tried to break it off with this dude, and we mound, found ourselves in a mutual space where there was this other guy that I was trying to hook up with. Ugh. And so the next day after he witnessed some things, um, I had a voicemail where he was trying to rap to me and obviously was like drunk or something. It was oh. terrible. Like Dr. Okay, so y'all went to this. So you, you had turned him down mm -hmm. to recap, but then you went to this spot where you saw, where you saw him when you were trying to talk to somebody else at the spot. Yes. And he noticed that interaction, correct? Uh, yeah, because it ended up being a little more than talking, you know. Some some dancing and kissing things may have happened. Uh, but so, he's so he saw you doing some dancing and kissing there. So then yes. he called you and, and proceeded to rap on your voicemail. Yes. Do you yes. have a couple of bars that you can share with us? That he well, the part that sticks out, because it's been a minute, you know. Um, but the don't treat me like a punk, don't treat me like a skunk, that really hit deep don't inside. Don't treat me like a punk, <laughs> don't treat me like a skunk. Yes. I got to write that down immediately. <laughs> that, so so he, he actually called your phone and left a voicemail where he said, don't treat me like a punk, don't treat me like a skunk. Yes, ma'am. What did you respond to that? <laughs> there was just no response. There was there was really nothing that could be done except try to avoid him from that point forward. A skunk. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know I'd already broken it off with him. So why are you calling me now just because you've seen me? You know, like <laughs> don't make it worse than it needed to be. You know, I probably would have called him back and just been like, I just want to be clear. Uh. I will not be going on another date with you, but this was great. <laughs> this rap was great. Never stop being you. Um, oh my God, do you have any other quotables from that motherfucking voicemail? I do not. I do not. It was so long ago. So, you know, it's been almost 20 years since this happened, but that was the gem. Oh, I thank you so much for calling in. Uh, <laughs> And in closing, when you're watching my content and getting your laughs on, I want to remind you, don't treat me like a punk. Don't treat me like a skunk, okay? You are going to treat me no. like a skunk right now. <laughs> how, how does one even treat a skunk? Oh, I mean, you don't want to be near it, so obviously. Right. Oh, my God. That's good, sir. That's so great. Thank you so much for calling in. I, I'm going to Thank say that to him when he comes home, and I just want to see what he's going to respond. <laughs> so know. I thank you for that comedy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, friend. You too, friend. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, listen. Let me tell y'all motherfucking something on the internet. Don't treat me like a punk. Don't treat me like a skunk. Because your breath smell like funk. I'm about to put you in a dump like Shaq. Because I'm a punk with a motherfucking trunk. And I thought you motherfuckers... Yep. I'm not a rapper. <laughs> okay. Let's, get, let's take the next caller. Somebody help me out. Because I don't want to be treated like no punk or no skunk. You hear me? Oh, that was bad. Off the dome. That was I, I gave it to you. Off the dome. A couple more people in the chat. Hair still looking green. Okay. Hello. Hey. Oh, so, I like your glasses. Thank you. Uh, so I called you a few weeks ago. You did. You did. I, rec I still recognize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's faded out. So How I don't know you? if you want my date story or what happened with work update. Let's get your date story first. Okay. So Welcome back I to remember. the show. Uh, you're Thank in you. Seattle? Washington, Seattle, Washington. yeah. Washington. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. I got I got the region of the country right, so I'm I'm doing great. Talk to me about oh my god, look at that. Pen. I'm so oh. jealous because I'm forced into <laughs> sobriety right now. Um, but keep talk to me about the date. 
Okay, so I only ever been on one date in my life, kind of sad, whatever. But like it started off cute. I was hanging out with he actually is on my Insta, so if you see this, sorry. Uh, oh, not to so, miss. Yeah, Go right. Ahead. <laughs> so like it started out, I was hanging out with my friend and her girlfriend at uh, her place with her roommates, and I asked where the bathroom was, and there was like a upstairs, and I don't know why. Whenever I have to go to the bathroom in somebody's house for the first time, something goes wrong. So I'm like, fuck, all right. So she's trying to tell me where the bathroom is. And then somebody else is yelling directions, but they're not the same. So I'm like, whatever. So I'm running up the steps and I hear door at the end of the steps. So I'm like, all right, so there's a door here and there's a door behind me. So I run through this door. And as soon as I open the door, I see a foot of a bed and I'm like, Oh my God. And the lights on. So I was like, Oh my God, somebody's in here. So I like just slowly like start to back away. And they were like, I just hear a little tiny voice go, what are you looking for? And I was like, oh. I was like, Oh God, I don't know this man. I was a like, man. What happened? Who was, who right. room I just walked into. I'm going to die. Right. And I was like the bathroom. And he was like, Oh, it's behind you. So I was like, okay, thank you. So I closed the door and I opened it. And I was like, sorry. And I closed the door and I opened it back up. And I was like, nice to meet you. And then I run away. So then after that happened, it was all cute. And uh, a couple of days later, uh, my friend's girlfriend told me that he thought I was cute and wanted to go on a date. So just, I was like, just, just with your in and out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He peeped the swag with your in and out. Okay, then. <laughs> um, yeah, so first date ever. I, like, how old was I? I think I was like 20. I think I was 20. And, uh, so first date ever, I'm from Indiana, so it's, like, not very gay-friendly there, so not, like, a common thing, yeah. For sure. So, like, we go out to eat and everything, like, it's cool, we're talking, getting to know each other, and then we uh -oh. go back to his place. No, no, everything was good. Okay, where we did y'all go, go eat? Oh, uh, we went to El Rodeo, okay, which is a Mexican that. restaurant. Yeah, Sorry, it's a local Me Mexican restaurant. And uh, I felt bad because he was vegetarian. And, oh, I'm 32 now. Um, somebody asked, sorry. I said, um, no, no, no. Um, what was it? I felt bad because he was vegetarian. And but, I he still, but he still went on a date. Yeah. yeah. So, like, that was cool. We go back to his place to, like, watch a movie and whatever. This motherfucker sits on the chair across the room. And I'm on the couch. So I'm like, what? Why are you over there? Maybe he had gas. <laughs> I don't know. Something. I, I know I do after Mexican food. <laughs> so I was like, all right. So I'm just sitting there awkwardly, like texting my friend. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And then my weird ass being awkward, um, I text him and I'm like, why are you over there? And then he looked now, at his phone. Now wait a damn minute. You don't, y'all in the same room texting <laughs> each other? <laughs> I'm awkward. I didn't know what to do. I'm awkward. Okay. Okay, so you, you texted why are you sitting over there and did he text back? No, he just like laughed and was like, Why are you texting me? And I was like, I don't know. So he gets up and he comes over and then he sits next to me and I like I let the weight of him sitting down like let me fall over so I'm laying on his shoulder. And I was like, All right, this is cute. Oh, you put the moves on him. Yeah, I was like, okay, just, oh, no, look, I fell. Because, because he did say, like, you know what? You just told me to initiate and come close to you. So, you know what? I'm going to reciprocate with a little emotional, you know. Right. Right. Um. So then, like, we're sitting there, and, like, not even five minutes go by, my phone starts ringing. So I'm like, damn, who the fuck is this? So I look, and it's my boss. And she's Don't calling. Answer. I fucking had to. I was freaking out. And I was like, what's up? And she was like, why aren't you at work? I was like, what? And she's like, you're supposed to work today. And I was like, I thought I had the day off. She's like, no, there's no one to cover your shift. And I was like, ah. <laughs> so I'm just like, all right. So, well, that was ruined. Damn, what and, time was you supposed to report to work? Oh, child, I was supposed to be there at 10. It was, like, midnight. So I was, like... So you left this man on the couch? Uh, no. 12 so, years ago? 
<laughs> right? No, he um so my friend's girlfriend ended up showing up uh like right when all this was happening and then he gave me a ride to work and everything and she got out of the car and she's like, Oh, let me go run in real quick. So I was like, What the fuck do you need out there? So I'm just sitting there awkwardly like, so like, thanks. That was cool. Like, all right. And we're just sitting there in silence. And I'm like, okay, get out of the car. So I get out and my friend runs up to me and she was like, well, did you kiss him? And I was like, no. And she was like, he was waiting for you to kiss him. And I was like, what you, ruined, was fucking you ruined the day. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, maybe you don't kiss on the first day, but you did you actually call him back after that? Like, come on now, friend, you ruined okay, the day. Well, after she told me that, I went back out there again, awkward. <laughs> I went back out there, and as soon as I get to the car, I look over, and there's a van full of children sitting right next to his. And I'm like, fuck it. So I was like, I came back out here to kiss you, but there's kids over there, and fuck it. So, fuck them kids. Uh, I lean over and I kissed him and yeah. <laughs> Did you get a call back? What happened to this man? I kept contacting him, but he kept hitting me with the busy with work thing. Aww. So I was like, all right, deuces. Yeah, like, I mean, I might have hit you with that too. Cause you, you, you damn left him on the couch. <laughs> you texted your friend about kissing him in front of a damn bus full of kids. Right. <laughs> you you kind of shit the bed on that. I'll be like, well, you, you did try to reach back out. So, excuse me. Ooh, burping. Okay, so give me a, like 30 seconds about what happened at work. Um. So I told you they kept telling me I was toxic. Yeah. Uh, I was speeding through getting stuff done uh, because like my back is killing me. That job was killing me. And I didn't do things delicately. Like I set some metal things down and they slammed. <laughs> And then I, I didn't do things out. delicately. Right. I slammed the metal down. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Fred, did you get fired, Fred? I did. And I, like, tripped over a bucket, and the lead said I, ki I kicked it, so I got fired. And I was like... Now, do not lie to me. You you look me in my eye no, right now. No. And tell no, I me was you walking, kicked that bucket. No, no, no. I was walking fast, and, like, the fucking work pants we have are tight as hell. And I like tried to step over it real quick and like get past him, and I like kicked the hell out of it with how fast I was walking. But yeah, I kicked the bucket. But you literally kicked the bucket on your way out. Yeah. Damn! But the reason why? Oh no, I'm trying to get unemployment right now. <laughs> There's been some sad stuff that happened, so I'm like hella depressed yeah. right now. So. Oh well, I'm so sorry, friend. I hope you find okay. a new job. You can't. You too. cannot physically touch people on the job site of your next I job. Didn't. <laughs> that is not okay, and you can't kick buckets even accidentally. But I do. Right. I do hope that you find another job. I really do. I do too. And I go do on too. another date. God damn it! It's been I'm twelve trying. years. What you waiting on? Somebody to talk to me. Shit. Well, when you when they do talk to you, don't a, a bit of advice. Don't text them when they're in the same room with you. Okay. <laughs> Namaste, Ashe. <laughs> right. Love you, Amber. Best of luck on your job hunt. Bye, friend. Bye. Y'all are the funniest. Okay, I got another call in the chat. If you're just joining us, it's 740 goddamn 8. Where you been? Just kidding. Tonight, we're talking about horrible dates. We just had somebody who was the horrible date. All right, this person's calling in, or I, I just accepted you, Fred. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I got King Kong in my trunk. Hello? Okay. Next caller, next on the bucket. Who is this person? Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How are you, friend? Are we connected? I'm good. Oh, oh my gosh, you two of us. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know he was coming in. Uh, let me get you back, okay? Okay. Sorry. I promise we're not talking about you. You remember those three ways, like, back in the day? <laughs> right, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't even know. Um, okay, I'm, let, me, let me, I don't I know how to do it. It's my fault. I think I, I, I sent it too quickly or something. <laughs> no, you're fine. This is so funny, because this is classic me. Okay, I'm moving. I'm removing you, and we're back. Oh. I didn't even know uh, 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 Instagram could do three ways. 
So me either. First of all, this is my first time <laughs> anyone. That was so funny. Ever. I was like, who is that your friend? Okay, anyway, let's let's rewind. What's your name? My name is Tony, and me and my boyfriend, let me show you real quick. We are big fans. Oh, hey, Tony and boyfriend. Because where, he, where is he? Oh, that's I'm our, so sorry. That's our little... I thought you were going to show me him, actually, but a picture works so all the he's, same. He's on his way back here from, from he, he was uh, in Baltimore, but I'm in the D.C. area, but we are huge fans, oh. and I have... One thing that I want to ask you first before I get started with my bad date story. Okay, go so ahead. We, as our, as our, you know, gay couple being selves, first apartment together selves got this plant. Oh yay, a snake plant! It's our first one, and and we already we already almost killed it. A and snake a plant, friend. If you leave them alone, they will survive. I we tried. I tried. <laughs> Well, it's still alive. Oh, that's so, I'm so excited for y'all's first apartment. I really am. I really want to record this so you can see it, but I'm afraid I'm going to hit the egg. It's going to, uh, I'm going to post it on YouTube. Don't worry about it. Uh-oh. Okay. Am I here? Okay. We're back. All right. Talk to me, friend. You ready for bad date story? I'm ready. All right. Imagine this. <laughs> Warm night. Mm. Mm. Late spring. Spring time. 2013. Ooh, That's good a guess year. year. I'm not sure. Pre-pandemic. So it was oh. a good year. Oh, well, was it? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I am at this point living in Peru, in Lima, Peru. We love it. Just because I, you know, learned Spanish in school and I wanted to go actually like learn about the culture because to me like you don't really know about a culture until you know the language but you also don't know about the language until you know about the culture so so it it's a warm oh, night springtime in Peru warm night springtime Peru gay club there's only Ooh. one um I meet this very cute boy who he was across the club and I was like oh Giving him that, I was, <laughs> and he and he was giving me up and whatever. So we ended up talking. Turns out he's straight. He's straight. He's just there with his girl, like female friend, not girlfriend, but female friend and her friends. And that's where they did her birthday. Okay, and I was like I was like, okay, that's cool, whatever. I, so we're then, not gonna I, I hear you out. Sure, so, yeah, but 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 he's also in that. He's also giving you the eye at the club. I thought so, but also I was drunk. So I probably thought anyone <laughs> that went in that direction was giving So me you were giving him that, and he was like, well, okay. so pretty much. But I was also with my friends, so I wasn't like, it wasn't too focused, right? Up until oh, nice. then, then his friends leave, and then we're, we end up like getting close enough to each other to talk, and we're talking, and we get along well. Uh, so pause. His friends, his gay friends, leave the gay club, and he stays. His straight female friend and her group of mixed, you know, gay oh, group, okay. whatever group, whatever, yeah. they happen to leave, and we happen to be close to each other at that point. So this is, like, fast forward okay. an hour, and this is where we are. And he and I had, like, oh, hey, how's it going? So we start talking. And then we start talking more and like whatever. In Lima, Peru, you're very close to the ocean. But in like downtown Larco, like Miraflores, Lima, you're like on a cliff. So there's a, a little like mall on a cliff called Larco Mar. Ooh, so we went, we went and walked down that way. We walked and we walked and it was fine. And he said, well, we can get down to like the beach and like hang out there. And I was like, don't tell me twice, let's go. Thinking we're gonna walk around the staircase down. He said, I said, let's go. He said, okay. He brings me to a point on the walkway where we have to like jump over the side rail and like go directly straight down this cliff. And they called it, um, what they call it? El serpiente, la serpiente. So it's like the snake. So it's oh. just a little, it's a so little it's, trail. Is he, is, is he a, a, a native Peruvian or is yeah, he yeah. also visiting? Yeah. So it's 
So you're you're yeah. probably also trusting him. You're like, you look like you know the way. Let's go. I've also lived there and like been past this spot, but I've never taken the cliff way down. Like <laughs> I've done, I've walked down, but he's real cute. And, and you're drunk. And I'm drunk. And this cliff doesn't look that steep. <laughs> so oh. I jump over it and it, it, it's called the snake. So it goes down like a snake, like a little by little, just like any sort of mountain. So I get down to the bottom, we get down to the beach and I'm like, okay, now's my And moment. he's not gay and it's just the two of y'all. Not gay oh, and definitely just the two of us. Yep. So we get down there and we're down sitting on the beach and it's like a rocky beach. So we're sitting there and he's like, let's go skinny dipping. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. So we go skinny dipping. We get in the water. I can swim well, but I don't like water. Cause when I was younger, I almost drowned in some shit in Michigan, cause I'm from Michigan. But you're like a, drunk, like you're trying pump. to get laid. All of this sounds like a good idea to you. And then here comes in the riptide, drags me out. I come up like barely breathing. I see he's finally on the beach cause it's, and I'm, I'm doing like a quick fast forward on this. So I'm taking a lot of time. I see he's still on the beach and I'm like swimming and I hear another one, it drags me back out. So now I'm like a good 20 yards from the, from the coast. Drunk. Did he get in the water? No. Well, he, no, no, I'm sorry. Yes. Initially he did, but he was dragged out. This is 3 a.m. So I didn't give a time. It's 3 a.m. He was dragged out. I'm also dragged out and he like swims and gets out, but I get pulled by a second one and then a third and then later a fourth one. So now I'm like 30 yards and then I just start swimming, 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 listening for like the next one to come so I can like try to beat it or whatever. I finally crawl out and this is literally like a true story <laughs> i crawl out and we sit there and we're catching our breath and we're laughing and two cops come up this is like three now it's probably four in the morning they come up and they're like hey you guys like you're okay to be here but just so you know there's a tsunami warning so don't get in the water and i i about flipped my shit because i was like there's no tsunamis in michigan i'm from michigan <laughs> right. So, what? So, and at this point, you're like butt naked from crawling on the beach. Yes. <laughs> oh so, God. Long story short, that was the entire date, kind of date, and it ended with I got a kiss in the little abandoned lifeguard uh, shack. He and better have gave you more than a goddamn kiss. You almost died. We're still friends to this day. <laughs> and he's and he's straight to this day. Well, apparently. <laughs> oh my god please but tell me i'm also happy i got my man so i'm happy you got your man but in the grand scheme of things <laughs> did you get more than a kiss that night i got just a kiss after that i got a long seven eight years of friendship so that's worth it friendship <laughs> oh. we don't care about no friendship Oh, well, thank you so much, friend. And well, tell him, friend, if you're listening, just just be who you are. We love you. We love who you are. Could I I'm ask talking you to your favor, uh, one quick Peruvian favor. friend. What is that? Could I ask you one quick favor? Yeah, sure. Can you say hi to my boyfriend? His name What's is his Marco. Name? Marco? Yes. Marco! Come here, you little cutie. Hello! <laughs> From the fabulous Ask Amber, we are so happy that your man survived a riptide or four uh, because then y'all wouldn't be together with your first little amazing apartment and your beautiful little snake plant. And tell him he needs to sing to the snake plant because I was trying to sing some Wicked to the snake plant and he cussed me out. Oh, okay. I want a video tomorrow. Send him singing to the plant. Marco, you have your assignment. <laughs> Look me in my eye. You have your assignment. Don't fuck it up. I love you both right. so much. Love you. Thank you for, for giving me all this time. Have a great night. Oh, of course. My <laughs> friend. Oh, my goodness, y'all. If you are going, if you are going to risk your life for the dick, you better come and orgasm. And you better get more than a 
goddamn kiss, you motherfuckers. You hear me? All right, y'all, I actually do have to wrap it up. There's a, I'm so sorry. I think it was Jessica. Jessica, please call in next week. If you call in next week, you're going to be the very first one. But Instagram does this thing now where they will, like, count you down. Like, if you said you were going to be on an hour, so I'm looking at this thing right now, go 18 seconds, 17 seconds. So I will put this on YouTube channel. Please subscribe on our YouTube. The YouTube's doing great. The YouTube is going to help me feed my baby. I love you all and can't wait to see y'all next week, Thursday at 8, 7 Central. Bye.